So we're going to go over the disassembly of this uh, Wilson X-Tac 1911. It's a full-size, 5-inch model, full-size grip. Uh, this process applies to all the 1911s. Uh, there are some minor exceptions and some minor tweaks. Uh, the major exception being will be if your 1911 has a full-length guide rod, uh, in which case you would need the appropriate Allen key or star bit, uh, whatever tool is included with your pr pistol purchase. 1911s aren't difficult to clean or, or tear a field strip, as some people would lead you to believe. Um, polymer guns, Springfield, XDs, uh, Glocks, of course, they're extremely diff easy to, to tear apart. Uh, but 1911s aren't much, much more difficult. So as with any pistol, any firearm, you want to clear the weapon before working on it. Move the mag. I like to lock the slide back. Put my finger in there. Look in the chamber. Make sure I don't visually see or feel anything. Then you start tearing apart the pistol. First step would be to remove the guide, uh, the guide plug, spring plug. Uh, to do so, you can use your finger and push the plug in and rotate the barrel bushing out of the way. Uh, Wilson includes this tool with their pistols. Uh, you can buy it as an accessory. Uh, you can also buy it at uh, sporting goods stores. Uh, it does help. Saves your thumb from getting all chewed up. Simply just depress the guide bushing. Rotate the bushing clockwise, put your thumb over it, take it out of the way. So don't aim this at your eyes or your face when you're disassembling. Uh, if that were to get loose and come at you, that could do some damage to your eye. Next step would be to align the disassembly notch up with the slide stop. And push it through with your finger, push it out the back. It just lifts right out. Then you can pull the slide off the frame. Go ahead and move the Recoil spring, rotate the bushing now counterclockwise. That will get the bushing out of the way. And go ahead and pull your barrel out. And that's as simple as it is, as it gets. Uh, not difficult as you can see. From here you would clean it with your, uh, your normal cleaning methods. Um, I like to use M7 Pro. It's a gun cleaner and degreaser. It's non-hazardous, it's biodegradable, it's environmentally friendly. Uh, doesn't smell, doesn't stink up the house or in the garage. I also use a product by Remington at Remwell. It's got Teflon technology, uh, also has a, mo a moisture guard, it's a rust preventative. I use this as a general uh, pres rust preventive, rust preventer. A lot of semi automatic pistols require grease. The 1911 is no different. Um, particularly on the disconnector, I put a little dab and on the slide frame rails. This stuff's pretty cheap, goes a long way. It's about three dollars. Um, you use it over and over again, this little tube goes a long ways. Reassembly is a little different. Uh, it's basically the opposite with one thing to note. Then you put the barrel back in, put your bushing back on. You want to make sure the link is forward. Uh, links up or back, ain't gonna work. Just like disassembly, line up your disassembly notch, push the slide release in, resist the, the temptation to wiggle it in place, just go ahead and slide it up, push it down, lock that. Put your plug back in. Again, don't aim at your eyes. And there you have it. It's ready to go.